Welcome to another episode of Air Guns and Passing Channel. And what I have in front of me is the all new Vulcan 3 that I purchased early this year while I was in the Philippines. This is one of my unicorn guns that you folks don't know about. Here it is. This is the Vulcan 3 700, 700 for being a 700 millimeter barrel. They do have, they do have uh, the 500 millimeter version. 500 comes with a 480 cc carbon fiber bottle, whereas uh, 700 comes with a 580. This is the 580 version. Comes in 177, 22, 25, and 30 cal. This is uh, chambered in 22. The Vulcan or Aragon Technology has a two year warranty. It's made in the Czech Republic. This particular gun, the overall length is 39.25. The barrel is 27.56 inches long. The weight without a scope is eight pounds, 8.38 pounds. The 700 barrels. Now, this was uh, at the time of uh, the writing back earlier in the springtime, so I imagine it's probably uh, not a problem to get the unchoked barrels, but in the 700 uh, barrels, it's only the 2 2 and 30s that are available that are unchoked. Other calibers, like the 17725, probably come later this year so I imagine by now it's available it does have a 20 MLA Picatinny rail Picatinny rail underneath what's different about this one it's got the one piece mono block one piece mono block on the gun cocking lever can be adjusted from left to right I already switched it here is the manual. I bought this gun from Talon Tunes. And Tony does an excellent job. This is what the gun was getting, 10 shots. 18 point FX18 grain at 30 yards, pretty good. I'm using the car magazines instead of the factory mags. Nothing wrong with factory mags. I needed a single shot loader, so I ended up, this is a single shot loader, so I ended up getting uh, two extra mags. Uh, the factory mags are 14 round magazines. Here's the manual for it. Oh, by the way, the shrouded barrel is a CZ unchoked. It just basically just shows you how to degas the air cylinder underneath here, under the Picatinny rail. Just how to change the cocking layer from left to right, but it has no directions on how to adjust the trigger. You have to remove the stock to adjust the hammer spring. The wood, don't know what kind of wood it is, but at this point I'm assuming it's uh, gotta be a beech wood. It's nicely done. Safety is up here in front of the trigger. Everything's all metal. Uh, maybe not the trigger blade. I think the trigger blade feels like it's plastic. It is. Same thing with the safety. Feels like it's plastic, but the metal trigger guard. Made in the Czech Republic. Anything that comes from the Eastern Bloc countries. I love. Adjustable butt, rubber butt pad with their... AT uh, Airgun Technologies logo on it. It's got some nice uh, raised lines to help grip your shoulder when you're shouldering the gun. Small gauge fills the 300 bar. That's where you insert your fill probe. You will have to buy a mallet adapter 
female adapter, I mean. And of course, at the end is a thread protector, half, I believe it's half, half 20, don't quote me on it, but it unscrews and you can screw in your favorite moderator. But as far as I'm concerned right now, the factory moderator does a wonderful job. And of course, here's some of this swag that they give you. Then uh, fill adapter for your gun. Keychain, nice little pen. You measure your groups. So, oh, there you have it. This is, uh, they come with, uh, from the factory high power version just by adjusting the hammer so let's uh weigh the gun get a trigger weight and see how she does out of my uh 30 yard range there you have it folks 11 pounds 84 ounces that's with the scope included All right, folks, this is how I received it from the factory. Trigger pull weight, first stage. Eight point eight ounces. Okay, folks. Shooting, we're gonna shoot the Daisy Hollow Points. I'll read you off the Coney numbers. 905. 9.13. She's just a little off the center there, but it's okay. I'm not uh, at the farm passing, so it's all good. Just trying to show you the accuracy. 901. Should be ten. Nine oh six. Okay, review. High 
high of 913, low of 900, 907 average, extreme spread of 13, deviation of 3. I'll take it. There you go, folks. Sharon is caring. See you on the next episode of Air Guns and Pessing Channel. See ya.